प्रिय छात्र छात्री जान जे तुम्हारे स्कूल बंध आिय शिक्षक क्लस वंचित होते असुविधा पुषे नार् जिला प्रशासन तरफ थे तुम्हारे ही प्रिय शिक्षक मध्यमें विभिन्न विषय कन्टेंट तैरी तुम्हारे उद्देश्य हमें पाठा यूट्यूब चैनल फेसबुक पेज हम लोकल निज चैने यो प्रचार कर व्यवस्था करशा करी तुम्हारा सेगल देखे शुने तुम्हारे जे प्रिय शिक्षक क्लस के एनजय करो बसा बस तुम्हारे जे विषय भित्तिक पढ़ाशनागुल आगोल चालिए जाओ बसाय थको सुस्थ थको तुम्हारे जो शुभकामना Because now you are thinking for your school, for your class, for your classmates, for your um, coming exam, and also you are thinking how you take preparation for the next exam, how you will do better for the exam. For this, um, for this, uh, for solving this problem. district administration of cost puzzle takes initiative to solve this problem or for solving your problem a little okay now i would like to discuss or i would like to share with you about the um, about the months distribution of this exam because um this exam especially of english uh, english of this exam is different to others because um in this exam english syllabus or question paper is designed with um, seen Comprehension, unseen comprehension, literary activities, writing activities, and um, grammatical activities all together. It is different to you um, in class six, class seven, and other class. Okay. Now, uh, now I would like to discuss or share with you only two part. One is. Seen part and other is unseen part. Okay. Um, I am writing writing some ingredients or point or marks distribution about seen part, which is which is covered only twenty marks. First one. MCQ. Same comprehension. Part A. MCQ. Number two. Short questions. And number three. successfully 
he will be seven months. Then short questions. Every questions there are four questions. Every questions there are only two months. If you do it successfully and or if you answer the questions correctly, you will get 80 marks. Then fill in the gaps. There are five gaps. If you fill the gaps successfully or correctly, you will get five marks. Okay? Have you understood? Have you understood this? If you if you do this successfully, you will get 20 marks. There is a text or comprehension that uh, it is it is taken from the textbook. It is from the textbook, so it is called same comprehension. And two questions, one and two, are directly related to this text or passage. In, in the question paper, you will see a text and from this or by reading this text, you will do the question, we will do the answer of two questions. But it is not directly from the text, but it will be taken from the text. Okay? I think you have understood clearly, okay? Then I go to another direction, which is called unseen art or unseen comprehension. Unseen means you have not seen. You have not seen in the text. Text means English for today. Okay, part B. That is unseen part, unseen comprehension. It will not be taken from the text. From the text means your English for today, but it will be and it will be standard up to your class or class eight. And I think if you study well, you will do. Uh, to or answer these questions, these test items successfully, okay? Now, test item number four. Test item number four and five will be taken from a text. Which text or passage will be there? Then, after reading the text, after reading the text carefully, you will have to answer the questions or test items number 4 and 5. In test item or in the number 4, you will see a grid or grid or or, or, or some column there will be there will have five gap that is called information transfer information transfer
When you see that girl, you have to read the text properly. You have to read the text clearly or carefully. Then you will fill the gaps and you will transfer the information which it wants or demands. Okay? You have to study or you have to read the text carefully and you will be able to answer the question or answer the test item that is information transfer then you will uh, you will fill with proper information this gap this item here is five numbers is gap here is one number and five into one you will be able to get five numbers if you do it successfully okay then number test item number five in this test item you have to you have to write whether the statement is true or false if you think the statement if you think the statement is true you have to write only t such as number a you have to write t or true if you think the statement is not right or incorrect you have to write f or false but in this place you have to write the correct answer ok uh, in this test items you have 5 sentences or 5 statements and every statement bears one number and if you do it successfully you will get 5 numbers ok 2 test items in these two test items are related to the text which is unseen text or unseen thesis directly related to the text after reading that text carefully you will be able to answer the two test items or two questions ok then Test item number 6 There is a table or there is a box In this box you will have 12 and 12 and 12 words Every and 12 words and In this place you have a text. In this text, you will have 10 characters. Each character carries half marks. You will do successfully, or you will fill in the gap successfully, or choosing, your choosing the right word is correct, you will get 5 words. It is, uh, you will need 20, uh, 10 words and you will have 12 words. Okay? That is called fill in the gaps with clothes. Test item number 7. Test item number 7. In this test item, you will have five gaps. There is no option, no word in the box. 
that is called without close. Fill in the gaps without close. You have to gap. You have to fill in the gaps with current word. Which word mm, you think fit or correct or this gap demands, you will fill in the gaps and if you do it successfully, you will gain or you will attain 5 marks. Every gap or each gap bears 1 marks, you will get 5 marks. Okay? Number 7. And test item number 8. Test item number 8. Test item number 8. In this test item, you will see or you will have two columns. Column A, column B. And there are parts of sentences. In this part and in this part, in this part and this part, make a complete sentence or meaningful sentence. And there are a, B, C, D, E. You have to make a complete sentence and you have to choose the correct part of this sentence, of this part. Uh, you have to match, that is called matching. In these test items, name matching. If you do it successfully or if you make meaningful sentence, you will have or you will attain each sentence one number and you have to do five sentence five into one total five numbers. Okay. Have you stood clearly? I think I am clear to you about part A, part B. To turn, accept writing part and grammatical part or grammatical activities. Um, you have to you have to do, you have to, you have to, able to gain 20 and 25 marks. Same part, total 20 marks. And unseen part, 25 marks. Total 45 marks. My suggestion is, if you do study carefully, if you write, if you uh, read your text about English for today and other, other books or uh, writing activity, writing capacity and other activities you will do, you will gain, you will attain um, 45 pounds easily. Okay? Okay, thank you. I'll go in another directions and for your convenience I'll show you a text or a passage part before you. Okay? Are you ready? Please take out your textbook and notebook for this part, okay?